Hello everyone and welcome to a simple Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to access your Minecraft directory. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the description and get this if you want to go with the first. Okay, so like there's two different, there's several different ways to get at your at your uh, mi dot Minecraft directory. <clears throat> now there are two ways. The first way is the quicker way through the command run command. Um, now there's even two ways to get the run command. You can just simply go into your start menu and search for run and click on run like that. Um, you can press the start button on your keyboard and R at the same time. Wait, let me get this right. There we go. And you can get the run command. Or if you want to go the long way, it's not really that long, you can go into computer, your C drive, uh, your users, your type in your you go to click on your user now here's the only problem this file app or folder app data is going to be invisible so you're going to have to go into properties uh, security no it's customized I think uh, you're going to want to go into your control panel and into folder options and then go into view and hidden files and folders show hidden files and folders and if you click on that then now you can see this little app data folder so just click on that roaming and dot minecraft and now you have your minecraft directory so that's the first way to get. now the second way to get the minecraft directory is to go into the description and get this code I copy it into anywhere and replace your user with obviously your user now to find out your user in, in case you're a total and complete computer noob just go to your start menu and look right there and it should say your name well, whatever your user is, your, 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 your user is. Mine is my name. So now you have your codes. Just wait. So you just copy that. <laughs> copy this, and get back to that run command, and you just paste it in. Hit enter, and you're in your Minecraft directory. So now that we're in our Minecraft directory, we may as well take a look at some of the f f folders and files. First, we have the bin folder. This is where you can find all the vital files to run Minecraft. If you modify the minecraft.jar file, then you can add mods and change the textures and blah 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 blah, so on and so forth. Under stats, we have um, my player's stats, and I also have a video on how to reset your stats. That's a separate tutorial. Here you have your screenshots. Whenever you press F2, uh, you take a screenshot and it's saved in this folder, as you can see here. Here's a picture of me, and I use this as my Facebook profile, which is pretty cool. And uh, then we have the resources folder, which actually has our sound, our new sound, our new music, our music, streaming, blah, 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 blah. All of these can be um, different, you know, they can all be different help for you. Um, it depends on what you're going to use that for. Uh, it can be used for modding as well to change the sounds and to add sounds like portal guns and blah, 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 blah. Here we have your saves folder where you can access your saves. I have another tutorial on that, how to import and export your save files. <clears throat> then we have texture packs here, which allows you to place different uh, zip folders in here to make a texture pack. Now I don't have any updated texture packs, so I can't really show you uh, an example. Well, I can take one of my texture packs, but they're not updated. So um, all you have to do is take uh, the zip folder and you just bring it into the texture pack folder. <clears throat> I know I'm pretty pretty bad tutorial person for not giving you an example. Uh, here we have the options.txt. Um, this is accessible through the actual user interface, but you can get it through here. It's accessible through the user interface under the options menu, obviously. You know, the last server you were on, you can enter an IP. Um, AO is uh, probably the advanced, ah, uh, I forget what it's called. The advanced OpenGL. Fancy graphics, you should always have that on true, unless you have a slow computer. You know, all these, you, you could figure them out, go back and forth, you know, 3D. You know, all these will make sense to you. Um, but uh, so that's the Minecraft directory. Uh, all, there's also the last login file, which is unreadable by pretty much every program, and it just has in in code um, your username and password. This is actually um, a vital file to hack the actual game and to pirate it. Um, this is pretty much the only file you need. Everything else is just alternate. This is the or this is the only file that you need to totally hack the game but that's something I'm never gonna tell you because it's very evil so you may as well just buy the game so that's um two ways to get to the minecraft directory and what to do once you're there um 
the mods, you know, mod installation once again is a different tutorial. Um, if I don't have a tutorial already, I probably have one now because I probably just uploaded one here. <coughs> so that's uh, all I have to tell you about the Minecraft directory. Every time an update comes out and the Minecraft directory changes, I will update this video, but I'll probably leave this as an unlisted archive on the internet. So thanks for watching, and um, see you guys later. Bye.